Hello and happy Monday, everybody. We are back for another Squadcast. I'm Camille. Joining me is Aaron. We got Malik and Ophelia, and we are going to talk a lot of gaming news because a lot has happened over the past week, and we were off for a week, so we kind of feel guilty. How are you guys doing? <laughs> doing great. Good. Good. Glad Do you guys to be feel back. Guilty? Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, especially, you know what? I think it was good too, because we've gathered like the best of the best of news that's taken place over the last two weeks. Absolutely. So we got like a really good episode this week, I think, in terms of topics. But uh, but yeah, I missed you guys. I missed you too, yeah. guys. Glad and to just back. kidding. No. <laughs> yeah, it's great to have uh Malik. You're you're back in Ophelia. I knew you were here one week when I wasn't here, so it's great that now we are being able to gang up on the guys. So finally meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to you. Yeah. All right. So today we got a, a stacked bit of topics. I'm just going to run them down for chat. Remember chat, um, while we discuss, let your voice be heard in chat on social media. If we do something funny or clippable um, that you want to debate maybe more on Twitter, let us know. Uh, we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5's new UI reveal. We're going to be talking about Miles Morales exclusive coverage. And I think we all know who's going to be talking about that. Ghost of Tsushima, <laughs> Legends multiplayer and World of Warcraft's Shadowlands hype and the state of MMORPGs. Uh, I'm really interested in that last one because when I think of MMORPGs, it's like <laughs> I, I'm not experienced. So, Ophelia, I'm looking for you to fill me in. But first, let's get started with, I think, um, a long overdue reveal. <laughs> that was PlayStation. UI reveal. We've been heavily anticipating this reveal since the game was first announced um, back in summer. And PlayStation actually teased us in that reveal of how the UI would look, but didn't show us mm. it until this past week. Now, yep. there's a lot of yep. new things that are coming to the UI and a new look for all. I'm wondering, I'm going to put this out there. I know we all got a look of it, but what were your first impressions when you saw the reveal? Gorgeous. Um, I <laughs> gorgeous. It was gorgeous. <laughs> I Sorry, think it go looks, ahead, Caboose. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I mean, it looks clean. Uh, it looks clean. I like some of the different features that they were showing. Uh, I especially liked, there was one feature specifically they showed where you could do this thing essentially where you jump to a specific point in a game yes. that's tied to like a trophy. So if there's a collectible and you may have missed one, you'll you'll click on this button or you'll click on this specific thing and it'll take you right to a part of the game where that collectible was. I thought that was really cool. There's some innovative stuff in there. The UI in general looks nice. That stuff for me though, it's like, that's not really what I'm most looking forward to out of the next gen. That's mm. just like, okay, cool. We know what it looks like. Great. Now let me play the games. That's that's really all I want to know. I want to know how quickly these games are going to load. And, and, and a part of what I just mentioned definitely gives you a glimpse at that in the fact that you can jump to literally any part of, what were they playing, Sackboy Adventures? Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. You could jump to literally any part of the game in like a snap of a finger. That stuff's awesome. That's me. great. Well, and I feel um, like Xbox does it with the quick, um, oh my God, I forgot the quick name resume. of that. Feature. Quick yeah. resume. Yeah. yeah, feature as well. Yeah. So we know with the hardware that we're getting for next gen, being able to process multiple things as well is going to be the biggest um, difference between, you know, PlayStation 4 or Xbox um, One X compared to the Series X and mm -hmm. uh, PlayStation 5, right? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, but yeah, it looks it looks nice. So I, think place, I was just going to say that PlayStation puts a lot of effort into their themes and into their UI because every generation they've had a reveal for their UI, which goes to say that they do put some sort of extra effort into it. I do like how it seems like PS5, there's more space in the middle. It's more of a yes. like a minimalistic kind of look and that lets you see the themes that you have more because some of these designers probably go to great lengths like the ghost of tsushima theme is amazing um i have yes. the last of us theme it's really good the music with it so i think which one it just uh the first one uh, the burning the car what the burning, the burning car? car yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah and so i think that just kind of goes into playstation putting that extra effort of tying you into yes. like their ecosystem but even that, uh, speaking of teams, uh, they do 
I have like lots and lots of games and stuff, but they're also taking a stance because there is the Black Lives Matter one, like mm-hmm. a couple days that just ago. happened. It just released today, yeah. I think. Actually, today? was I, it a couple yeah, of days? I don't know. No, I think it was just today. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Either way. Uh, yeah. I Let think- us know, chat, what day it was. <laughs> I was probably today, but I took a nap. I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, I know I retweeted it this morning. Yeah, they yeah. did. But I'm in France, so I think we kind of like. <laughs> I think I'm in the future for you. Oh yeah, that is true. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but, well, and uh, yeah, no, they did take a stance on this, and they're looking more user friendly in the PS5. So I think they're like, you can feel the brand. It's not like Xbox where you have hardware and that's it. PlayStation mm-hmm. have, I don't know. It's yeah, it's it has soul somehow. I think that's through its yeah. design, um, what you're talking about, like the feeling that it, it it makes you want to turn on and just look at the theme, uh, yeah. like what Malik is saying. And it's great. I agree with you guys that it's giving um, the developers to really own those themes and help give back to their fans through those themes. So it's great that we're getting that sleekness, but they're also giving publishers um, more of a highlight. So if you're following a specific game or playing through a game, you could go on these cards that are lined up on your home screen and it's pretty much like a homepage for whatever game you're playing. So whether it's Ratchet and Clank, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and it'll yep. give you all the trophies that are available. It'll give you any new news DLCs that are coming out. How do you guys feel about this more focused on specific games rather than, you know, just the overall look of the PlayStation as an entertainment system? Because I feel like the PlayStation 4, yes, it had those themes, but what kind of... Um, I would say clash with those themes is the fact that it was still trying to highlight itself like previous gems as an entertainment system as a whole. So you had your tabs for like video, if you want to go into Netflix, the PlayStation store, but it seems like now with PlayStation five, they still do have elements of that, but they're also trying to make it more for their fans, like catering Mm -hmm. to each gamer and what they're fans of. I'd like to say, Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Malik. I was just going to say, did you guys notice that there's a media is completely separate? Now too? Yes. It's yeah. that, and I love that. And it's kind of what you're saying of separating that, where like, here's the gaming, and then here's like the news about the developer and the games that yeah. you are actually playing, not just what Google thinks you're interested in, but what you're actually playing mm-hmm. versus, you know, now you've got your videos and your media separately. Yeah, I think that was cool. But I also think that when they're doing these presentations of the UI, uh, mm-hmm. especially in learning from the mistakes of Xbox during the reveal of the Xbox One all those years ago, they mm-hmm. know that when it comes to presentation, nobody wants to see how they can boot up Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> they'll, find, they'll figure that part out. A exactly. lot of people are going to inevitably come to a point where we're going to come to a point a couple of years down the line in this console generation that's coming up where some people are going to have their PlayStation 4s or their Xbox One X or Xbox Series X, yada, yada, yada. And they're they're primarily potentially going to use it for stuff like Netflix or, you know, they're the entertainment side of it, right? Yes. But obviously when it comes to presenting this, when it comes to showcasing this, you want to show what people want to see the most. And that is how do you boot up your games? How, yeah. how is this tailor made for the gaming side of things? I like mm-hmm. that there are now separate tabs for the entertainment side. Uh, it, it makes it feel like, you know, there's those two separate audiences that want to get these consoles. Not not that anyone's buying a PlayStation 5 just to run <laughs> Netflix, but you know that there comes a point but, where a lot of people like play one or two games, you know? Yes. And yeah. just run Netflix. So, and that's a, like, we have to realize these are consoles, right? So um, I remember there was a point, I want to say maybe at the end of the PlayStation 3, when they were kind of bringing out news that there would be less entertainment features in the next-gen console, now being PlayStation 4 and the Xbox, Xbox One, um, people were kind of like, oh, well, you know, we, we want games anyway, so the entertainment isn't the issue. But really, a lot of people that are buying consoles... Like you said, Caboose, yes, they get to the point where they're going to be playing one or two games and still using the PlayStation to boot up their Netflix or to mm-hmm. watch whatever country rule, whatever streaming service that they have there. So media, I feel like from console, the console side of things isn't going to go anywhere. It's yeah. just interesting that how we're seeing it is still 
having that the divide and not integrating it fully. Um, and that comes with like social media as well. Cause like consoles obviously have those features of how you could share your content through social yep. media. And my gripe with the PlayStation 4 is when I'm playing COD, because I play lots of COD, sometimes I get a really good kill and I play, I like, I'm in my pajamas, so I'm not like on Twitch or anything recording it and have the luxury <laughs> of like capturing that glorious moment so I could gloat to my friends about it. Yeah. So I press the, the quick record button on my PlayStation 4 and then it goes to how do you want to share it? Oh, yeah. And it is the worst options possible. It's like tweet it out. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to be that person on Twitter that tweets and just gloats about their gameplay because mm -hmm. I'm that person in real life. So I, I don't want Twitter to know about that. So I just <laughs> want to say to my friends, the only way to do that is to have it upload on my YouTube channel as a private video, then download it from YouTube on oh. my phone to send to my friends. Oh. And that is is ridiculous because I feel mm -hmm. like, especially because I have the PlayStation app, I want to be able to, why can't I send the clip to myself through a message? I could send it to my friends through yeah. a message. Have you ever considered uploading it to YouTube unlisted and then just sending your friends the link? Yeah, but I don't want my, That's still I'm an a extra very step. Pri yeah, it's an extra step. If I was just given the um, option to send it to myself, Mm -hmm. Or send it directly to like my friends through Discord. Like, when is it going to get to the point oh. where where we see these consoles, their gaming consoles, connect with the social media in the gaming community like Discord? It's right. Like, it's it would be awesome for them to implement Discord into these consoles, but I think the only reason they don't is because they have their own party chat like functionality. Yes. But, um, and that's the thing. It's like you have to make in order to make up for not having the way gamers connect with other gamers on yep. your console mm -hmm. is to make your chat have those features that now gamers are expecting are, are the basis for everything. I, I will say. To, yeah, go ahead. I, I just I was just gonna say like with crossplay getting bigger and bigger. I think we're inevitably going to get to a point where discord's like, come on. Let's work together on this, you know, because yes, yeah. there's, there's just more and more opportunities or more and more times where people are playing on PC with their friends on console. I've actually had it plenty of times myself where I'm playing on PC with a specific game and the friends playing on console or vice versa. And I think inevitably, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox, and it'll probably be PlayStation because there is a way to get into an Xbox party through your PC uh, to implement Discord into these consoles, to get Discord as an app functioning on these consoles. But I don't know when. I don't think we're going to see it for PlayStation 5 because when they showed um, that part of it, like when they were um, showing like you could clip a moment in Sackboy and then yeah. send it to your friends, the only option was Twitter. That may be because they only connected Twitter, so it's not confirmed that it will only be Twitter and YouTube like it is for PlayStation 4. But I really mm -hmm. want to see um, it become more intuitive especially because they are making innovations with their party um, chat features in other ways. They could. Bef yeah, go ahead. They could, they could solve this. I think in, in one very easy step, make, make player profiles almost like Facebook profiles where you can mm -hmm. upload your screenshots and your video clips. And all your friends have to do is go to your profile, click on it, and they can look at your screenshots and your video it's clips like, that yeah. you share. It would be nice if they would allow discord, but PlayStation has put, I mean, I can't even tell you how many countless updates there were in the PlayStation 3 generation just mm -hmm. to get voice chat working because yeah. the party chat was so awful. So yeah. I don't, I think that they've put so much effort into it and so much money into getting their party chat and their voice chat working that they wouldn't risk it. But if Discord was able to work with the consoles, I think that they would be better off not doing an exclusivity and just making themselves an app, like you said, available on each platform. Because mm -hmm. then you're going to reach both. It doesn't matter where you are, what you play on. You're going to be mm -hmm. using Discord to talk to your friends, and that's huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there because you have the, the multimedia side of the hardware that's getting more and more separating from the gaming side. And mm -hmm. eventually, I think we're going to get there because everybody does that. I mean, Netflix, YouTube, you, you need it. I mean, we all have accounts on mm -hmm. Netflix, on YouTube, on, on, on yeah, Deezer, Spotify, whatever you want. So having it is not a perk. It's not like something extra. It's basics. It's just yeah. like buying an iPhone. 
you want to be able to text and call, but it's not what will make you buy it, but you need it. And yeah. eventually, I think voice chats will be the new norm too. It's just a matter of time until we get more gaming focused because everything else will be basics. Mm -hmm. right. um, I want to just check in with chat for a bit. Uh, Arkham Red said, honestly, it's astonishing how Sony can make better game Spider-Man games than they can movies. Yeah, we all <laughs> wonder that. Um, and it's astonishing. <laughs> It's like a miracle in its own well, right. You see, you you see the miracle there is that Sony doesn't make the games. Yeah. <laughs> Insomniac does. Exactly. Um, Jake and Prime said the Black Lives Matter theme is it released today. So today, we can all yeah, go perfect. download that. Um, Arkham Red also says, I can't lie. I use my old Xbox One and, uh, for TV and movie streaming. And they thought we could download Discord on consoles. You can. But it's only for Discord features. We're talking about sharing our gameplay through, um, like the dis having it more integrated um, seamlessly. Um, I want to do talk about um, other party features that are really interesting, and I'm wondering if you guys would make use of this. They have this feature where you could actually um, watch your friend play their game. So if you're in a party with chat with your friend and your friend's playing like a completely different game, you could have that popped up on the side and watch your friend play as you continue to play your game. Yeah. And it'll, it'll give you warnings if something, like if you're playing the same um, game with your friend and you haven't reached that point, it will give you a warning if the developer feels that's a spoiler. Ooh. So then you don't spoil anything for yourself. I'm wondering if you guys would use this feature. Um, just for me, I personally don't know if I would use this feature because if I'm talking to my friends about a game, I'm usually talking to them in person or on social media or Discord. Yep. All right. Yeah, That's exactly it. <laughs> you don't have to do it with friends only because I do it with family. <laughs> ah, that's true. That's yeah. I have yeah. small kids, like my partner has kids, and when we play together, they're always like, you're the video game master, help us. And I'm like, <laughs> but they're like, I'm in this level, what do I do now? And I'm like, how should I know? I'm not next to you. I I'm playing my own game, leave me alone. <laughs> and just having the ability to be like, okay, share your screen, show me, oh, it's cool. And oh, have you tried this game? And I think it's, you can get more social with it. Yes. Like we've been talking about Ghost of Tsushima when we were just talking a bit earlier and we'll <laughs> talk about it later, but uh, we were talking about our experiences and just seeing, for instance, Malik streaming and playing with friends could give me a hint whether I would like it or not. But I don't want just to watch a stream. I want to do my life in the business. <laughs> I mean, just like having an ID, like you'd be watching a stream, but from your friend and I think it's like bypassing Twitch and it's more private. So mm -hmm. why not? Yeah. Yeah. And I, there's not, it, as long as they don't have like restrictions on, because if you can be in a party and other people can just watch your game, this could be really good for like raid parties. This could be really good for uh, puzzle games. You know, if you're trying to get your friend through an area. Mm -hmm. Or even if you're just playing like a single player game together, you know, it, and it's also that feature of like, I have a PS4 and then we're probably, I'm probably going to get a PS5. So if you are able to, if that feature will carry over to the PS4 as well, which I don't think it will, but still having multiple consoles in the same house, or even if people are, you know, far away, it's another way for them to connect. It's yeah. what PlayStation is just trying to do is get people to connect over their console. And I love it because it doesn't yeah. matter really if the mass majority of people use it as long as there are a select number of people that use it and love it and get enjoyment out of it. And it brings value to the console. I think that's all that matters. And it's just like these little steps to connect their community is what's mm -hmm. really going to put PlayStation ahead in the long run. I think you hit the nail on the head there. It's a feature that's like, for me at least, I'll, I'll probably never use it. But as long as some people do, then, then it was the right decision to add it right. in there. You know, it's a nice little way to get more community out of it, to get more friends to interact with one another through the system. So it's a, it's a cool feature, no doubt. Like it's interesting. It's fun. Maybe I'll test it out just to yeah. see. And I think you're right, Malik. Right. I think where it could be the most useful is if say you're playing a game like destiny 
And maybe you got one guy who just knows what they're doing in the raid. Everyone's got to go look at his screen real quick, figure out exactly what it is you need to do. Boom, jump back to your screen, play the game, do the raid, right? That could be where there could be some genuine, like proper functionality from it. But yeah, like I said, it's not something that I'm personally very interested in, but it also does no harm to the console. All it does is just, you know, progress in terms of community interaction. So that's cool. Yeah, it's even more than community now because I think more and more players are coming because we all have like our parents playing Candy Crush, but they're coming Mm -hmm. eventually to video games. And we're not just players, four players, by players. It's more than that. You have kids playing like Zoo Tycoon stuff. (laughs) You have grannies playing World of Warcraft. I mean, (laughs) everywhere. Everyone's playing now. Yeah, I feel on the console. Yeah, and I feel like the console, well, specifically the UI, based on the reveal, is all about helping gamers of all levels um, through how they game. And one of those features, also, uh, before I just go to this, uh, because. Arkham Red said, I like picture in picture, it feature on my phone, but on a game. I just want to clarify that. It's not like picture in picture. So when you pull up the gameplay, yes, it, it shows up like picture in picture. But mm-hmm. as you mentioned, Arkham, in your comment after about, oh, that'd be cool to watch a YouTube video of, there's nothing confirming that that would work for other apps, like in terms of mm-hmm. having a YouTube video run while you're playing on um your game like playing your game if it's ratchet and clank i don't know if you'll be able to have a youtube video run to show you how to get a certain Mm -hmm. trophy or achievements because they have that built in through other features of the playstation 5 so i'm not that's something we'll have to see at launch um but i want to talk about other features that they have to help gamers out they do have where you can watch tutorials of how to get a trophy And that's being implemented by developers making those tutorials. And then PlayStation will put them in with this new feature they have. But also they're going to tell you how long it will take to go through a level uh, before you get into it. This is interesting to me because I think sometimes like when you're late night and you get into, you know, a new part of the story and you're like, okay, (laughs) just one more hour. (laughs) And you realize you're up till four o'clock in the morning and you have work at seven it's not pretty. I don't look pretty in the morning. So this is a great way. <laughs> you always pretty a great coming. way to stop uh, me from overplaying. But then it could also spoil what you expect to come mm-hmm. next. How do you guys feel about this specific feature? Do you need it? Like, is it always displaying the time for the mission, or do you go and see it? Because so I even yeah, you don't care. Like, yeah, it's just if you have a time restraint that you're checking it real quick. Like, okay, I need to leave in an hour. Can I do this mission? Okay, I have time. But if you don't want to get spoilers, don't look at it. Yeah, I, I think they are implementing it in the actual, like, um, UI. So, like, if you were to pause the game, I think it does show up. I don't know if you could turn that off. So, do you like more features that kind of hold your hand through an experience? No. But it's good um, to have the option, but it shouldn't be. Yeah, uh, like I said, it's it's one of those things where it's just it's nice to have. It's yeah. it's not necessarily something I'm investing too much time into. But I know, like M- Malik just he said it best. If there are even a hundred people out of the millions that'll get a PlayStation Five who find some sort of usefulness out of that feature, then mm. like PlayStation has done its job. Granted, maybe they could have taken those resources, the time put into creating this feature and put it into something else. But I feel like, I don't know, it's it's a nice thing to have. It's just there, and yeah. I, that's okay. Hey, I think, why not? Yeah, and I think, honestly, to it, and it should be a game-to-game basis, because in Ghost of Tsushima, yeah. there is a mission that's, a, I would say, about an hour long, and they warn you beforehand. And they mm-hmm. say, you know, this is going to be a longer mission. And I like that for, you know, story-based games that maybe have a section where they want to tell a a specific story and it's going to take an hour or two even. But if it's just going to be like, oh, this mission is going to take you 30 minutes, this one's going to take 20 minutes, that's okay. But I I just don't see myself using it. But like you said, Caboose, if just some people use it, then it's worth it. Well, you know where it'll be the most useful is when you just have just no will to want to play Death Stranding. You can watch somebody (laughs) else play (laughs) 
He did it. He did it. <laughs> Everyone should try it. Give it about 15 hours of your time to really get a good wow. feel. <laughs> it is good, though. Don't let like Caboose. I'll, I'll let you, you give 15 hours thing. of your time playing it while I watch through SharePlay. <laughs> yeah, if you, yeah, if you play it, I'll watch. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll have to set that date up a later time. Uh, but Caboose, I actually want to go to you and then um, Malik and Ophelia as well after. I want to know from you guys what makes a good UI because uh, Caboose, you opened up with saying like this was something you don't really care about when you're looking at next gen. But I want to mm -hmm. know because... We've seen in previous gen UIs just be very horrible, bulky. So, and that does impede on when you are navigating around the console. So I want to know what you, what's your main feature you want to have on a console to make it um, approachable for you from a UI perspective? I really like Xbox's UI. Um, I, I don't know if I'm alone in that or if that's like a minority opinion. But for me, I appreciate the fact that I hit the guide button and I see my friends list. I see a party. I see where my invites are. I see where my messages are. I see my trophies. You know, like I, I can see some games that I've pinned. You know, I feel like I like that in the single button press, a lot of the information that I would want as somebody who plays games is there. If I want to join a friend's party, I go to my friends list. If I want to check who's in my party, I go to the party. You know, like all that stuff is very quick, easy access. Um, I don't know, like even PlayStation 4's UI is not that bad, I don't think. You get a lot of that information fairly easily as well. Um, so that's that's mostly what I'm looking for is easy access to the most like key important functionality that you need out of your console, whether it's games, party, friends lists, all that stuff. Uh, all the additional things like looking at community or, you know, looking at, I don't know, whatever forums this that and the mm -hmm. other that stuff's just like i'll find my way i don't yeah. really care about it so mm -hmm. however difficult you need to make that to find go ahead but as long as i can easily access some of the key features i would want to then we're good i don't really care what else is there okay fair enough Molly? i i will say this if if xbox game pass was <laughs> more than five dollars i wouldn't have it based on the ui on pc alone. Oh, the, the microsoft okay. store on PC is awful it but is. that that it's being so said <laughs> i really do like the idea of like kabo said having a few things visible and then having everything else either in folders or being in collapsible mm -hmm. like sections because I really like PlayStation's UI where I press the home button and all I have to do is move the joystick up or down or left and right. I don't like having to press multiple buttons to get into more like menus. It's just not fun for me. I think PlayStation 5, if they keep it where it's just that bar at the top and then you have your video and your media, I, I don't like the current PlayStation 4 where you go down into a game and it's got like all this stuff. It, it looks really clunky. So if they just keep it where I can get to my game and maybe I can see who my friends are playing down below, like who's playing this game, that's fine with me. Everything else, I'm fine with clicking the options button and going in and looking for more details. I just don't want it to be all in my face at once. All right, Ophelia? Yeah, I, I agree with, with the guys. I think the most important thing is to be user friendly. Mm. You don't want to mm -hmm. think about where to find something. You want to yeah. instinctively, yeah. you know, okay, I'm looking for, I don't know, a trophy. Okay, I'm going to go to my game. It's somewhere there. And I think the current UIs are getting there, but some things are still a little bit clunky. On mm -hmm. either sides, uh, I think I think Steam is doing a good job on PC, but it's lacking the multimedia side. But you get like all your games, all your social, and it's easy to see. Uh, but one thing I miss the most on the current uh, interfaces is better profiling, because mm. on the PS4, yes. if you play a game and you share your PS4 everybody will have the game on their loan screen and i don't know if uh, i'm playing um i don't know death stranding and caboose is booting up the same ps4 after me he's gonna be mad to see this game because he doesn't want to see it <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe it's perfect, right? okay maybe it's perfect, right? <laughs> yeah and you should be able like okay i'm switching to this profile so i'm only showing 
what you want. Yeah, I think it's lacking the intelligence, I would say, side of it. Yeah, um, it's not AI like enough. Like, we're supposed to be the gamers. We're supposed to be like <laughs> at the top of the trends, tech trends. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to have the latest geeky stuff. And yeah. we don't have AI. And mm -hmm. oh, we do, but it's so, I don't know, it's shy. Yeah. Like, you Google something and then you have ads forever and you yeah. even get emails and they're basically knocking on your door saying hey you looked up for boots here are boots no but consoles don't do that and i kind of wish they did like i don't know if i'm playing late at night i'd rather have suggestions like resident evil i don't know something <laughs> i only play when it's dark yeah. but if yeah, i wake yeah. up i don't want to see my last game or i don't it's i think we can do more like we can get further yes. into into the future, I would say, because we have that basically on our phones and computer, but not yet on consoles. And yeah, and I agree. Like and it's crazy hearing that from you because you are from the future. So if I <laughs> am, <laughs> what are we going to do? I am. I absolutely, you bring up a really good point in terms of profiles and making it more catered to each user on that single console I share with my console with my boyfriend. So we do have different play styles in terms of what we play as well. Um, but I'm hoping as we go into next generation, it just becomes more seamless because I do like how Xbox has that quick, you just uh, click that button and you see your friends list everything there if you could customize that on next gen consoles to see what you want to see and you just have that quick button that it just pulls up and you're able to more customize your interface i think that'll work really well but of course we will have to get our hands on it in order to really see how playstation 5 and xbox one or xbox series x i have to get used to saying that um yeah. really shows off their ui when it's in our hands